see Pete. Did you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. Just take the call. Ironically, with all the information that I brought to my platform, individuals wanted to follow the lead of one of the most janky motherfuckers I've seen in my life. And the one thing that he started talking about that stood out to me like a sore thumb was this sovereign shit. Talking about he writing on contracts I do not accept and all this other shit. And as we see what's going on in this Christmas parade massacre trial, it should be no surprise where I'm about to go with this content. Like I said long ago, whatever is motivating some of these individuals who are allowing this janky ass person, Don Russell, keep serving them up piles of shit sprinkled with sugar, obviously don't comprehend where he's going with this whole sovereign mushmouth bullshit. You can't claim to be sovereign and still talk about constitutional rights. Make this shit make sense. And what's sad is, I see a lot of people following in with this sovereign bullshit, but a lot of them don't even know the half of what they're talking about. So when I see what's going on in this trial, it's very blatant and obvious why there's red flags all over the place. It's also very interesting that it's been alleged that Black Lives Matter attempted to raise funds for this individual considering the charges and allegations when just a few years ago so many of these janky ass advocates claimed they couldn't stand up for basic justice because of certain charges on other people. Make it make sense. So if you are allowed to represent yourself in this case, sir, you will not have attorneys assisting you. If I let them withdraw, they're gone from this case. Do you understand that? I think I will probably be better served representing myself. Brooks, please stop. No, there ain't no please. You are nothing. being disruptive. Ain't you no are please. being disrespectful. You're always going to find some reason to down. say somebody's being disruptive because they want the truth to be out there. Man, quit it. You're supposed to be Mr. the judge. Mr. Brooks, I'm advising you that continued interruptions will result in you forfeiting your right to be okay, present in this court. Under what, under what law in fact can you do that? Illinois versus Allen. Okay, sir. but the fourth, the fourth uh, option that you made up that's not even in the uh, law? Mr. Because Brooks, you can't do that. I need to make a By law, you can't do that. I need to make and you know you can't. All right, I'm going to um, excuse everyone. Mr. Brooks is being removed from the courtroom. He will continue in the neighboring courtroom. Uh, please make sure he has his objection signed and a pad of paper. So uh, the court is going to continue with the uh, direct examination by the state of Detective Carpenter. Um, I would like you to come back to this courtroom. Um, are you willing to uh, conduct yourself consistently with the decorum and respect inherent in the concepts of courts and judicial proceedings? I didn't do anything to be found held in contempt in the first place. So are you willing to abide by the rules of decorum and civility um, I would direct your attention to um, SCR Chapter 62, which has been provided to you previously. Um, does that say anything in there about me being held in contempt? Um, that does not, no. So why have, I, why have I been held in contempt? I didn't hold you in contempt, sir. You are simply in a different courtroom based upon your disruptive behavior. I'm giving My you the opportunity. has not been di disruptive. I've put my findings on the record, sir, and I, the record stands in that regard. Um, I'm giving you the opportunity, um, if you can, uh, indicate to this court that you will conduct yourself um, with courtesy and decorum. Are you willing so, to do that, sir? 
Is, the, is your honor willing to tell me why I've been held in contempt? that the test result could be obtained and if necessary by reasonable force. Um, it's my understanding there was some type of situation or altercation between Mr. Brooks and the deputies. Um, ultimately though, I think he was taken into the bullpen. He was brought back out, but it was very clear to me that he was upset. Um, I think understandably so, uh, but um, I needed to make a record of what was being done, uh, including that I have obtained the test result uh, so that there's an accurate record in this case uh, related to the motion that was raised previously by uh, Mr. Brooks. I want Mr. Brooks to know that I am not um, removing him from uh, when the jurors are brought back in. It was just simply because he was upset. Um, he was... Um, very loud when I walked into the courtroom before going on uh, back on the record. Um, he was uh, yelling about his constitutional rights being violated. Um, I advised him that if there was any type of use of force that he wanted to complain about, he could certainly do that through the proper channels uh, with the sheriff's department, but just given his state of agitation and my need to make a record, um, I had him taken to the other courtroom. He is currently muted. I do not intend to go forward uh, with additional testimony. Ultimately, I'm going to take an early lunch break because of this. Um, but I will make a record of the following. I have your the choice, result. though. Are you willing to go back to your cell and put on your suit? Um, it is my right to do so or to not do so. And at this point, Your Honor, who doesn't know that I'm in custody? Mr. Brooks, I've had many trials with individuals who were in custody, and when I've talked to the jurors after the conclusion of the case, they had no idea. The whole point of allowing for street clothing is not only to shield jurors from the fact that you are in custody, but also uh, you being in a suit and a tie or other street clothing I think also lends to the dignity of the proceedings. This is a trial. Um, again, it is your choice. Are you willing to go back to your cell and be dressed in the street clothes that you previously appeared in? With all due respect, I do not agree with that assessment whatsoever. There's no possible way that anybody will not know that I am in custody. I think that's a well-known fact because it's reported on every day in the media. It's shown every day on the news where I am, what jail I'm housed in, and that I'm in custody. It's virtually impossible for anybody to not know that I'm in custody. Back on the record, appearances are as they were before. I need to make a record that at 8.42 a.m. this court ordered Mr. Brooks be removed from the courtroom due to repeated uh, interruptions and disruption uh, with the court. Uh, this, of course, comes on the recent history with Mr. Brooks on every day that we have been in court since Monday. Um, he has shown a complete and utter disrespect for the simple rules of civility. Um, he has been removed from the courtroom multiple times. This morning alone, he started interrupting this court within a minute of the court calling the case. Um, I should also make a record at, at the moment he is muted uh, because of the way that he was removed from the courtroom and his conduct since. Um, I have been given just a bit of information about it. I will advise everyone that I have required that the Sheriff's Department uh, file a written report with the court uh, regarding Mr. Brooks's conduct. I'm told that um, he would not sit down while in this courtroom in order to have the shackles removed so that he could be taken to the other courtroom, that he was resisting, um, that at one point he took off a shoe and it appeared uh, to the deputies that he was going to throw the shoe. Now, obviously, this trial is very interesting. 
You had the media already perpetuating this must have been a terroristic attack until they got more details. And then you come to find this guy claiming to be sovereign, in which, in my personal opinion, I feel like the government treats individuals like this just the same as a terrorist. So when I see people going with this whole sovereign citizenship, and then we see firsthand experience that they don't know how to properly execute the things that they think they know. I do, however, believe that this judge is being fair in how she's trying to consider this man obviously don't know what he's doing and may be trying to set himself up for appeal. From my experience in these sovereign citizens or whoever they think they are, they feel like they could walk both sides and claim to be sovereign and play with the Constitution at the same time. So that ain't no surprise that they'll try to manipulate the law in order to benefit them. Problem is when you get in the damn courtroom and you can't cite any laws to validate the things that you rant about. Now, at this point, it should be very clear why a character by the name of Don Russell stuck out to me like a sore thumb over here, especially with all the shit he got on these public platforms talking about. Meanwhile, the specific things he was trying to maneuver with in his case, while obviously leading morons to sabotage the next person's case. I can't make this shit up. Did you see KG coming? Happy New Year, baby. Oh, man. Happy New Year, bro. Turn up time, baby. Turn up time. Ha, ha, ha.